Hi friends, welcome back to Rustic and Lace DIY. Today is the last of my Timu videos. I can't wait to show you what I'm gonna do with my items. So with all that being said, let's get to crafting. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by showing you some of the items that I'm gonna use today from Timu. I'm gonna use these beautiful flowers. They are gorgeous, you guys, and they feel, they don't feel fake. And then I got these eggs. I think there's 20, I can't remember, I'm sorry, but um, they're foam eggs. And then I'm gonna use these wood beads that I got from Timu as well. I am going to use some more of this ribbon that I got from Timu, and when you get it, you get two rolls of it. I'm gonna use one of these wood pieces. I loved all of these shapes. I think they're gonna be great for crafting with. And then I'm gonna use this uh, stencil, silk screen stencil from Timu. And then two of these, um, these are placemats. So I'm gonna use the two different ones that I'm showing you there, as well as this beautiful vase. Oh my goodness, you guys, I love that vase. <laughs> okay, so here is DIY number one. So for this DIY, I'm going to use this Happy Easter placemat from Timu. This I recently got, it was on clearance for $2.99, I couldn't pass it up. And then I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paints in the color ivory and the color ink. And then I'm gonna use some regular old school glue. So I'm gonna start off by painting that sign black. Now we are going to do the crackle effect. And um, I absolutely love doing this, you guys. I just love the way it works. So first of all, I'm going to, once my paint was dried, I'm going to just put a whole bunch of the school glue down. Now, the more you put down, the more crackle you're gonna get. So if you just want a little bit of crackle, then you only wanna do a little bit of glue. If you want a lot of crackle, you wanna do a lot of glue like I'm doing here. <laughs> so then I'm just brushing it all in. I apologize if you hear Oliver. And um, I'm just gonna finish brushing this all in and then while it is still wet, I'm going to cover it with my ivory chalk paint just like you see there. And uh, once I have this all done, and actually by the time I was finishing this, it was already starting to crackle. I don't know if you can see it on screen um, when I get towards the end here or not, but I guess I stopped showing it, but it was already starting to crackle. So I just got my heat gun and just uh, finished drying it to bring it out faster. And I just love watching the cracks up here. I just, I don't know, it's just, to me, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. So once I have this all done to the point of being all crackled, <laughs> I'm gonna take this placemat and I'm gonna cut out this bunny. I know it just seems just so off wasteful to cut all of that, but uh, I just wanted this bunny So and the same. So I'm gonna cut, um, I just kind of cut around it and now I'm just doing a fussy cut where I'm just cutting all along the bunny and then I'm gonna cut the happy Easter words out by themselves. And I do just kind of fussy cut all around those two words as well. And then after it was all done, I took my Mod Podge here and I'm just putting it down where I'm gonna lay this. Now this is thicker than it would be like a napkin. So I'm not gonna do my little heat press technique. Instead, I'm just gonna do the old fashioned technique of uh, putting Mod Podge down and adding my words here or my decals, I'm gonna call them. Um, now. When you saw me pause there, I was trying to decide if I wanted to do it this way, if I wanted to do it my way with my heat press, but I decided to do it this way. So once I had it down, I'm just going over it again with some more Mod Podge, and then I did that with the word Easter, and this is how I did the bunny. I just kind of laid it where I wanted it and lifted layers of it up, added my Mod Podge, and then just kept um, lifting and laying it down after I added the Mod Podge. And I'm just gonna do that all the way through until uh, I finish the bunny. And then once, and, and I mainly did it this way, so I kind of had this shape of the bunny, so I was going around the shape. And then after that, I just went over it with my um, Mod Podge just to seal it and protect it. Once they were all dry, I took these little foam flowers. They come in a 50 piece set for $1.68 from Timu. I love them. They have all kinds of different colors. And I'm just gonna hot glue them onto the top right hand corner. And then after that, I took that uh, beaded garland and I'm going to make a hanger with it. So I cut off the tassel. I'm just removing some of the beads because I'm not gonna need all of them. And then I had beads going everywhere. <laughs> 
as you can see, I was like, ah, they're running away from me. Um, and then I'm just going to uh, make a hanger with it. And I'm just going to tie knots. Now, I think I only put nine um, beads on there. I don't know why I didn't do an even number. I should have, but that's okay. It is what it is. So I just tied knots on the end of the, the, the little string there that it comes on and then hot glued them in place. And then I have a hanger. And that's all there was for this. I love how this came out. That crackle effect, oh, it just makes the sign. And I just think it's adorable. You have to let me know what you think about this in the comment box below. Okay, if you'd like to shop on Timu, I have a discount code for you. It's STAY097 for 30% off. But this is their website. They do have an app that you can download on your phone as well. But this is their clearance or closeout section. There is so much, guys. I just, oh my goodness. I can't stop looking when I start looking. It's so hard to stop. But um, check out, they have some great prices as you saw at the beginning of my video. And then with that, extra 30% off. It's amazing. Also, they have a free shipping and free returns and they also do a Visa, MasterCard, um, debit card payments and pay as you go, that kind of stuff. So make sure you check them out. They are an amazing site and yeah, I love those birds. I might have to get them. <laughs> Here's DIY number two. So I love, 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 love this one. This came out better than I was expecting. So I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. I'm gonna use these foam eggs. I'm gonna use one of these little wood cutouts. And then I'm gonna use this Happy Easter uh, stencil. And then I'm gonna use one of these eggs that I had, wood eggs that I had in my stash. So I'm gonna start off by removing that by using my heat gun, that little bunny there, and my um, paint, what is that? Oh my gosh, I can't think. Anyways, you know what that is. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to, I was trying to get that bunny up. Well, actually, I wasn't really trying that hard to get it in one shape. I didn't, or one piece. I didn't really care. I just wanted it off. <laughs> so once it was done, I painted the front and the back with my ivory chalk color, but I am just going to use the back. Actually, I only painted the front because the back I'm going to cover with shipping paper. So once it was done, I also painted that little um, wood piece there. And I'm fuzzing my uh, stencil here because it is adhesive. So I don't want it to pull up my paint when I'm done. And then once I have it all on, I'm just going to use some chalk paste here. And I'm going to go over the words Happy Easter with this kind of a slate blue color. And then once I have that one done, I'm going to use more of a peachy pink color. I don't know what the color of the name of it is um, but I'm going to use that on the rest of it and like I said you guys the way this came out was totally different than what I had planned um, and I, I it came out better than what I even thought it was so I just really love how this came out but that stencil you guys was what a couple of dollars I don't even think it was a couple dollars but I mean it's just so inexpensive it's amazing. Um, okay, so here you go. So I'm going to reveal what it looks like. And look how pretty that is. Oh, the colors are just gorgeous together. So once it was dry, I um, I'm, I guess I, sh sorry, I used wood glue and hot glue on the back of the sign. Somehow I must have de de deleted it. Then I took those foam eggs and I cut them in half. No, I guess I haven't done it yet. Okay, never mind. I took those foam eggs, cut them in half. Now I'm taking some blue rickrack that I had in my stash and I'm just gonna hot glue it all the way around my egg. And once I get to the very bottom, I'm just going to trim it off and hot glue that piece to the bottom. After I have that all hot glued on, I'm going to, now I'm going to adhere that little sign to the egg and I'm using my wood glue here all along the middle. Then I'm gonna use hot glue going all around the edge and then I'm going to uh, attach that to the egg, just like you see there. And then after that, I took three roses or those foam roses and I'm gonna hot glue them to the top part of that little wood sign. 
And then I'm going to take those eggs that I cut in half and I'm going to hot glue them just along the sides of those roses to help cover the holes for hanging since we're not gonna hang this. And then I'm gonna use one of these bases that I got um, from Timu that comes with those chalkboards. And I'm going to paint it ivory. And once it was dry, I took my egg, and now it fit in there perfectly, but with the um, rick rack, it made it a little harder, so I had to just really push it in there. But it's, it's in there. And then I'm gonna take a couple more of these eggs that I cut in half, and I'm going to uh, hot glue them along the edges here. And then I'm gonna add four more of those foam flowers right along the middle, just to kind of help cover the hole since the the uh, egg doesn't go through the whole slot there on that base. Um, just kind of wanted to decorate it a little bit more. And I do add some eggs, I'm um, not eggs, I'm sorry, some more flowers on the other ends of the eggs there too, again, just to help kind of cover up that slot there. And then after that, I decided to take some more Rick Rack and just uh, decorate that base a little bit more. And I'm just gonna hot glue that all around the base and I didn't put hot glue all around it. I'm just gonna, um, I did it at the very beginning and here I'm just gonna put a few little drops here um, in the middle and then I'll just do it again on the edge uh, on the side there. Uh, yeah, I put one on the end or on the corner there and then I'm just gonna do the side and that's all there is for this one. I didn't go all the way around the back um, you could if you wanted to, but I decided to just go around the edge there. And you know, you could also make this a double-sided sign. That would be really fun too. So uh, here I'm doing a finger bow. So I'm just wrapping, I'm doing a double finger bow and I'm wrapping it around both of my fingers like you see there. And I'm taking that extra long leg there and wrapping it around those loops that I made, then I'm bringing it around and pulling it under and through that loop that I made that went around the loops that are on my fingers. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I do it really slow because I have a hard time <laughs> explaining it. So then I just hot glued that little bow to the top and there it is. It is so pretty. Oh, I love it. You have to let me know what you think about this one as well. Okay, I wanna take this moment to thank all my wonderful subscribers. You guys mean the world to me. And if you're new here and enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. And then make sure you guys give me that comment, that thumbs up and watch those ads to help support my channel. And you can also buy me a coffee to help support my channel. And you can find the link to that as well as my um, social media accounts in the description box below. Okay, so here's DIY number three. So on this DIY, I'm gonna use my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory again. I'm gonna use some more of those um, foam flowers. And I don't know why I'm holding it there for so long. <laughs> then I'm gonna hold, use, um, these were the wood garland or the beaded garland that I used earlier, but I did this one first, I guess. Anyways, I'm gonna use this ribbon and then this um, Cottontail Farms sign or placemat and then a wood round. So I'm gonna start off by painting the front and the back of that wood round with my Avery, Avery, oh my goodness, my ivory chalk paint. Then I'm gonna do the same with this placemat as I did with the first one. I'm just gonna cut this out and then just gonna kind of fussy cut all around uh, the rest of the image. Now I didn't cut it in half or anything like I did the first one. I just cut real close to everything. And then I'm just going to hot glue, no. I'm going to use Mod Podge all over my uh, wood round here. And then once I have it thoroughly covered, and I do a thick cover because this stuff is a little thicker. The, um, the placemat's a little thicker. So once it was dry, I laid it on my wood round and put my parchment paper, just regular parchment paper you use in a kitchen over that. And then I'm meeting, using my heat press to reactivate that Mod Podge. And then that will hold that placemat in place. So after I was done with that, I took my Mod Podge and I went over the whole, uh, I guess I went over the whole board. I, or did I just go over the, 
placemat. I think I'm just going over the placemat, but I just do a good layer of it. Once it was all dry, I decided I wanted to do some distressing. I just felt like it needed a little something more. So I took my Waverly chalk paint in the color ink and I'm just distressing all around the edges. And then I did do um, some distressing around the middle. I did also do it on the placemat itself as well, just to kind of tie it all together, make it look worn, old, out old-fashioned, outdated, that kind of thing, <laughs> and less more like um, that material they use. After that, I took some of this ribbon that I have in my stash, and I'm hot gluing it together. I did not measure the length of it. I never do. I'm just, I always eye it. Then I took some more of that ribbon that I got from Timu. I'm doing the same thing, hot gluing the ends together. Then I'm going to place those together, and I am going to scrunch it up in the middle, kind of like you would a bow tie. And then I'm taking my twine and I'm gonna tie a knot around it to hold it in place. And then after that, I'm gonna take some more of those ribbons and I fold them in half vertically, then fold them in half horizontally, horizontally and vertically, vertically, I don't know. Anyways, and I'm just making legs for them and I'm just tying it to the back of that bow with some more twine. And then I'm gonna um, hot glue it to the top part of my wood round and trim up the uh, legs so they're not so long and dovetail them just like you see me doing there and then after that I'm just going to hot glue some of the uh, one rose there to kind of cover that um, twine and then I'm going to hot glue some on the bottom and that's all there was for this one I believe nope 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 I forgot I have to make a hanger <laughs> gotta hang it right I'm going to take some more of the um that beaded garland that I used on the first one. I'm gonna make a hanger with that as well. And I will show that here in just a moment, I guess. I'm going slow for some reason. <laughs> okay, there it is. So I'm just going to, I think I did six beads on this one. And again, I just tied knots on the ends of it and then hot glued it. And that's all there was for this one super easy it's amazing what you can do with just regular items that you find even like at timu don't even have to go to the craft store <laughs> you have to let me know what you think about this one as well <laughs> okay so in, normally this would be a time for a celebration of your recreations, but I don't have anything to share with you today. So if you have a project that you have created or several and would like me to showcase them for you, you can email me pictures to that email address there, or you can send me pictures through Instagram or Facebook Messenger, and I'd be more than happy to showcase them here for you. So here's DIY number four. Super easy, guys. I don't even know if you can really call this a DIY, but I'm going to take this pitcher vase I, that I absolutely love. Some twine from Timu, this ribbon from Timu, and those beautiful flowers that I got from Timu. And I'm going to start off by taking that vase. I'm going to call it a vase, even though I know it's a pitcher. And I'm going to hot glue some twine and wrap it around. And I, I don't know, I just cut off a whole bunch of twine from that um, spool and I'm just wrapping until it's done. So, you know, you could do as much as you wanted. I just wanted you to have a good, um, I just wanted a good amount around it because I'm going to put a bow and I wanted you to still be able to see the twine there. So I'm just going to wrap and wrap and wrap. And then once I get to the end, I'm just going to hot glue the end. And uh, then we're done with that part. Oh my goodness. Okay, so then I'm just going to take that ribbon and I'm going to just kind of eyeing again the size that I want to do, cutting a piece of it off and then I'm going to hot glue the ends together just like you see me doing here. This is an easy way to make bows guys if you don't know how to make bows or have a hard time with them like I do. And then you're just going to kind of push in the middle like that and then you're gonna wrap, I'm gonna wrap it. So I'm gonna tie a knot on my ends of my twine here, and then I'm just gonna wrap the rest of the twine all the way around um, my bow there, just to kind of give it, I don't know, some more twine, some more farmhouse look, right? I love farmhouse, you guys know that. Or rustic, I love them both. Okay, and then I'm just gonna wrap and wrap and wrap until I get to the, oh, I guess I didn't get to the end. I guess I just wrapped a few times until um, I felt it was full enough. And then I'm going to hot glue it to the back there. 
After that, I'm going to take it and hot glue it right to the front of my pitcher or vase. And then I just made another little finger bow and I'm just going to hot glue that right to the front of my bow. That's all there is. And then I'm just going to take those flowers, those beautiful flowers. I'm going to take the pink ones and I'm just going to, no, the purple ones. I'm going to spread them out because I, I, you could cut them if you wanted to. And then I'm spreading out the pink ones and then I'm just going to put them in between the purple. So I'm just kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, incorporating the pink and the blue together. So I'm just mixing them all together. Then I took some more of these foam eggs now and some skewers. Now I put that one in, I realized, oh, I did that one upside down. <laughs> so, the, okay, well the next one I'll poke the skewer from the bottom and then I go all the way through and I'm like, oh my goodness. But luckily it didn't totally tear off the top. So I just pushed it back in. And then this one was perfect. So I'm going from the bottom and I slowly push it in and then stop before it hits the top <laughs> and there it is so simple and I just think it is beautiful you can take those eggs out and just have it for spring decor or summer decor um, you could even leave the eggs in and keep it as a spring decor but anyways make sure you check out Timu they have some amazing stuff and those flowers are just beautiful and I hope you can find some so the final reveal is coming right up. Again, I will have links in my description box for Timu for all the items that I showed today. And don't forget to uh, check uh, them out and use that discount code for 30% off. And with all that, you guys, I will be back with a very fun video on Saturday. In fact, I'm stressing about it right now. But anyways, so with all that being said, you guys, have a blessed rest of your week. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.